Welcome back, fourth graders. We're looking at another paragraph from Roberto Clemente, and we're focusing on the main idea and the supporting detail. We added in yesterday a little bit about supporting detail, and we'll, we'll do some more with supporting detail today. But as you notice in this paragraph, it's just a short little paragraph that Honey Rose had the strategy of a first sentence main idea. Sometimes you can find the main idea right in the first sentence. So when you read this, he became an excellent hitter. In baseball, a really good hitter is one who gets three hits in every 10 chances at bat. Now, if he does that, he is said to be batting 300. In his second year with the Pittsburgh Pirates, Roberto was batting better than 300. So then you had these choices. What's the main idea? Well, if you look right here, that first sentence, remember Honey Rose said a lot of times the first sentence is the main idea? Well, look at down here. Circle the main idea from the paragraph. Roberto became an excellent hitter. He, right there, he became an excellent hitter. So that probably is our main idea because everything after that supports the fact that he was an excellent hitter. It says there, Roberto was a great baseball player. Well, that's true. He was. But nowhere in here does it say that that's the main idea. It says in baseball, a really good hitter is, and it talks about being a good hitter. Yeah, so that means he's a good baseball player too, but it's more about his hitting. He's an excellent hitter. So letter B would be true, but not the main idea. Look at letter C. Baseball is a fun sport to play. Doesn't say anything in our paragraph about that. It's true, Roberto loved playing baseball and it was a fun sport to play, but it's not the main idea. And finally, Roberto Clemente played for Pittsburgh. Doesn't say that anywhere in here, but it is true. So you gotta be careful, just like we talked about the last few days. Just because something's true doesn't mean it's the main idea idea. What is it mostly about? It's mostly about Roberto being an excellent hitter. In fact, it says it in the first sentence. So Honey Rose is right. That strategy of looking for the first sentence, that sometimes works. Now the second one talks about which of these sentences supports that main idea from the first answer above by giving some more detail. Well, A, it says Roberto was from Puerto Rico. Uh, that's true, but it doesn't support the fact that he was an excellent hitter. So once again, that's a true statement, but it's not a supporting detail. Letter B, he was batting better than 300. That's true. He was batting better than 300. And that supports the fact that he was a really good hitter. Remember, the main idea is an excellent hitter. So batting better than 300 would support that. He was an excellent runner, letter C. Again, that's true, but it doesn't support the main idea. And D, Roberto Clemente played for Pittsburgh. Again, that's true, just like it was true there, but it doesn't support the main idea. So the main idea was Roberto became an excellent hitter, letter A. And what supported it? One detail, one fact, one thing that was true that helped support it was he was batting better than 300. All right, I hope you did very well with that yesterday, and I hope that you were able to also type in down below here, what is a main idea? Because that goes along with Honey Rose's notebook, which we're going to look at next. Well, here you are, Honey Rose. You're outside today. Can we take a look at your writers and readers notebooks you've done such a great job with main id and supporting detail all right you can see in honey rose's uh, readers notebook she's added on this bottom section here about it's about supporting details she had the first part here with her main ideas and the three suggestions she had for finding a main idea and now we're going to look at the supporting details the details or the supporting details help develop, explain, or support the main idea. So what do they do? They give more information. They provide facts and figures. 
And they also help us understand the main idea more completely. So when you find your main idea in that same paragraph, you're going to look for sentences that tells you more about it. Kind of like we did yesterday, how him batting 300 supported the fact that he was an excellent hitter. It gave more information. It provided more detail. It gave a fact or a figure, in that case, batting 300. So when you look at the paragraph today, the one that you're going to work on, you're going to look for the supporting detail. Find something that gives more information or provides a fact or a figure or something that helps us to understand the idea more completely. That's called a supporting detail. 